Hello everyone, this is Precious Ubuna of Business Day Research and Intelligence Unit. I hope you've had a great weekend and your week has started off on a good note. Nigeria equity market has closed last week's trading on a negative note as it declined by 0.33% or 33 basis points to 46,026.62 points. On a week-to-date basis, the market has closed also on a declining note as it declined by 91 basis points or 0.91%. We attribute the losses to investor sell-offs in the oil and gas sector, which declined by 4.7%. Also, the industrial goods sector, which declined by 3.9%. The insurance sector, which declined by 2.1%. And the consumer goods sector, which had declined by 0.2% um, at the close of last week's trading. Nigeria's stock exchange market capitalization has also closed at 26.4 trillion, shedding off about 241.6 billion at the close of last week's trading. For currency updates at the end of last week, Nigeria's investors and exporters window has closed at 436 naira 50 kobo per US dollar, while for parallel market, which also covers Nigeria's black market, has closed at 718 naira per US dollar. For Nigeria's um, peer to peer market that also regulates the cryptocurrency, the, the, the dollar exchanged for 721 naira 40 kobo per US dollar. And for our BRI data driven insights, our analysis have shown that Nigeria's CIT or company income tax and has gained or has increased to 29.5% up from 551 billion to 714.4 billion in the second quarter of 2022. For company income taxes, Nigeria earned about 634 billion from local companies and 80.4 billion from foreign companies which totaled 714.4 billion naira. Also, analysis have shown that Nigeria's CIT payments grew the highest in the accommodation and food services sector which grew to 481.9% from 1.1 billion to 6.1 billion in the second quarter of 2022. And also, from our analysis, we have discovered that Nigeria emerged as the country with the highest number of collapsed buildings in Africa from 2011 to 2022 half year. In 2022 half year, Nigeria has lost about 24 buildings to collapses in different locations in Nigeria. Also, this is the highest number from our analysis compared to every other number of collapsed buildings per year since 2011 up till 2022. Thank you for watching us. Thank you for listening to Business Day Research and Intelligence Unit. For more insights, visit www.businessday.ng